As we come to the end of 2023, we want to welcome you to our end of week news bulletin, even as we look forward to a prosperous 2024. My name is Sergeant Patience Asambu. The KDF Weekly Bulletin is a show to keep you updated on events undertaken by the Ministry of Defence over the week. And in today's bulletin, Chief of Defence Forces visits patients at Defence Forces Memorial Hospital. Commander Kenya Army visits troops in operation areas. Monusco's base defense platoon participates in exercise Blue Shield 8. The Chief of Defense Forces, General Francis Ogola, together with his spouse, Mrs. Eileen Ogola, visited Kenya Defense Forces troops and their families undergoing medical care at Defense Forces Memorial Hospital and Defense Forces Wellness Center in Nairobi. The CDF relayed his message of goodwill and wished the patient speedy recovery as he assured them of the military's leadership support towards their recovery journey. General Ogola further passed his best wishes to the troops during this festive season. Commander Kenya Army Lieutenant General Peter Njeru visited Kenya Defense Forces troops deployed along the eastern border and those serving under the African Union Transition Mission in Somalia. The visit was part of his routine visits to troops deployed in various locations aimed at monitoring and motivating them as they undertake their duties. During the three-day visit which commenced in Wajir, the Army commander loaded the troops for their unwavering dedication to upholding the territorial integrity of the Republic of Kenya. Lieutenant General Njiru congratulated the troops for their consistent successes in stabilizing their respective areas of responsibility and their contributions to regional peace efforts under the African Union. He also conveyed a Christmas message of goodwill from the Chief of the Defense Forces, General Francis Ogola, to the troops as he encouraged them to professionally execute their duties during this festive season and to remain on high alert in order to deter any security threats. Lieutenant General Njiru commended the troops for actively countering and degrading Al-Shabaab terror group's activities. He urged them to continue working in synergy with other security agencies in their areas of responsibility to combat terrorism and violent extremism. He congratulated the soldiers serving under ATMIS for their continued support to the Somali security forces in Somalia's stabilization efforts. He further assured the troops of his continued support through training and provision of logistics as they remain committed to the ATMIS mandate during the transition period. Moving on, the Kenya Defense Forces Base Defense Platoon, along with other Allied forces, showcased a coordinated effort to secure the United Nations Organization Stabilization Mission in the Democratic Republic of Congo during Exercise Blue Shield 8 conducted in Goma. The dedication and seamless coordination of the base defense platoon and the Allied forces were underscored by the success of this joint effort. The commitment exhibited during Exercise Blue Shield 8 serves as a collective vow to protect the United Nations mission and the civilian population during challenging circumstances. The joint objective of Exercise Blue Shield 8 was to maintain a vigilant security stance at the lava sites, ensuring the first line of defense. The troops strategically occupied all five guard towers, fortifying the lava site perimeter to eliminate potential compromises. Demonstrating a proactive approach to potential threats, they implemented swift and strategic security patrols within the lava sites, ensuring comprehensive coverage and enhancing overall security posture. The collaborative exercise involved the participation of various troops, including the KDF Base Defense Protection Platoon, Kenya Signal Company, Senegal Force Protection, United Nations Police, United Nations Department of Safety and Security Force Headquarters, Military Public Information Office and Information Operation Cells. Thank you for watching. We wish you a happy and prosperous 2024 and look forward to your feedback via our official social media handles as well as your viewership next Friday for the KDF Weekly Bulletin. Goodbye.